Why ragas and dveshas? Why do they become obstacles? And where is this obstacle? Perfect. Perfect. If you were to die right now, are you ready? This moment? Is there something? Oh, I have to do this one thing. I have to talk to this one person. Is that thing there? Just observe, observe. Is there a Raga or a Dvesha right now? Yes? Did it come up? Put it down. Just put it down right now. You might not get this chance to talk to that person. But you just surrender that Raga or Dvesha that just came up. Are you ready to die right now? You don't have to answer me. You have to answer yourself. Not me. Honestly, look within. Yeah, if you're fooling, you're fooling yourself, not me. Yeah? Look at it. If you are fooling yourself, there is no bigger fool on this planet than you. Recognize this thing. Did a Raga or Dvesha come up the moment I said, are you ready to die right now? Put it in that bag. You might not get a chance to speak to him or her or do that last little thing that you wanted to do. Are you ready to die right now? 100%? See, again something came up. What is that saying? Have kept <coughs> from ah, that's what. You just recognize it. You don't tell me. You just observe. I have this very strong raga. I have this very strong Yeah. So what happens at the moment of death? That thought, that raga or Vesha Perfect. Is Yama going to come and ask you, are you ready to die now? This is it. This is your last. This is the moment. You are leaving right now. Are you ready? Ready to go? Yes. As is, I'm done with my ragas and dvesha's. Yes, let's sit with our eyes closed. Take a deep breath in and out. <coughs> Drop that Raga or Dvesha that came up. I'm going to let go. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I wanted to do, what I wanted to say. This moment, I let go. I am ready to die right now. This moment, I am ready to let go of everything. The house, the car, the money, the family, relationships, friends, career, job. This moment, everything, I am ready to let go. Even this body. Take a deep breath in 
and out. And very slowly, open your eyes. How to die? That is what this Bhagavad Gita is about. How to move on. So what is the first step? You will apply the locks. Yeah. So how to die also has been given by Lord Krishna. First thing he says, close the nine gates. What are the nine gates? Eyes, ears, two eyes, two ears, two ears nose, 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 mouth, mouth, navel, anal passage, anal, genital, and genital, two nostrils. Two nostrils, nostrils, two, okay, two nostrils. Said one nostril. Yeah. So these are the gates of your body. Yeah. Prana leaves out from the lower gates in non-spiritual or materialistic people at the time of death. For a yogi, prana leaves from top of the head. We've done all this in Kato Upanishad. You're all PhD sitting here right now. So, it goes from the top of the head. Now, if I want to get to that stage of a yogi, how do I get there? He says, first practice locking these nine gates. Step number one. What will happen by locking the nine gates? You've been doing bandhas. It's not a new thing. You just didn't know what you were doing. What happens? Perfect. The energy from the lower chakras does not find a way out. Yeah? And it starts moving out. Now, did you experience the movement of energy these days that you've been practicing, Hari Om? <laughs> yes. Yes, but, but partially, uh, is it okay? Like, we couldn't absorb in the bottom, but from heart, we could absorb. That's okay. Energy. Whatever. Little bit you understood the movement of energy. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, that's exactly that will thing, that process happens immediately after the locks. So, first thing is, apply the nine locks. Yes, you already know the process. Yeah. Maybe one more question. So in the past, in the past, we have nostrils also, right? So, when so you are breathing in, remember? Mm -hmm. And you stop the breath. You remember, right, everybody? Mm -hmm. yeah. Who has not practiced bandhas in years? You all remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah? First, the anal muscle, mm -hmm. you pull in. Yeah? And slowly, slowly you go up. You've breath, taken the breath in. You've not thrown the breath out. So everything is closed inside. The locks are there. That's the first step. Very clear. Absolutely clear. Now, am I going to die in a Vajrasan position? How am I going to do the locks then? Even while lying down, I should be able to master this. Got it? You do not know what's going to happen at that last minute. Yeah, that's why the person is lying down in the picture. Yeah. Today you can sit and do, that's fine. But this should be your thing, your goal. You know, I have to master applying the locks even when I am sitting just casually or I am you know, falling like this on a chair or on the floor. Guruji can also tell you that. Yeah, but it's a Hindi talk. I don't know how many of you understand Hindi. Everybody understands Hindi in the room? Yeah. So, Guruji also will give you these directions. Yeah. But I don't want to wait till tomorrow evening to do this. I want you to start doing the process now. So first, how to die? Apply the locks. Next, you will observe those who have been doing bandhas, anyways, what happens to the mind? 
for that split second it's absolutely silent have you noticed mm-hmm. especially because you taken all your breath in and everything is locked you cannot breathe out yeah you cannot think have you noticed yeah anyway the mind stops now take advantage of the silence hold on to it don't let a thought come and bother you yeah guess get established in this silence means what bringing the mind to the heart that's the way to poetically put in the sutra but what is the meaning of bringing the mind to the heart which heart are we talking about physical heart what was the other heart you learned the heart society how beautiful there is another heart yeah the cave of the heart and the soul resides there remember yes so you can't find it in your physical body but when you are in that silence you have entered the cave of the heart automatically yes so that is step number 2 what is step 1 locks step number 2 silence establish in that silence hold on to that silence don't start talking to yourself our problem is we start talking to ourselves yeah i'm getting this i'm not getting this i don't know what is going on in a conversation no in a conversation just establishing in that silence got it you've done vandas n number of times it's not new stage 3 observe that prana moving from the bottom most chakra to the top and then let it just establish here and focus here so your attention will actually be from the agnya chakra till the top this whole area you will just observe 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 yeah those who have been really doing hari om meditation did you observe what happens what you feel feel tingling did you observe you can feel some sensations yeah just observe observe all the sensation and observe the movement of the prana from the base of the spine to the top of the head yeah this is stage 3 when i am here then what you will chant an internal om yeah for beginners i say chant for people who have been really meditating for a long time they don't need to chant when your energy is completely focused here yeah in the absolute silence you will be able to observe that the resonance of om is already there yeah you don't even have to be a meditator actually go into the forest or on top of a mountain where it's absolutely pin drop silence where you cannot hear anything yeah have you been in a place where there is deafening silence absolute deafening silence but still there was some kind of a sound the sound of that deafening silence is actually the same frequency of om it is the sound of creation yes and so you have to do this in absolute silence no movement you will not move your foot yeah you will sit in a position and after that you will not move at all sit as if you are buddha buddha does not move yes like a stone like a rock no movement at all and just observe the flow of this prana and take it to the top of the head focus there steady it there yes and just drown into the silence that follows when you drown into that silence you will be able to really vibrate with om and if you were not able to do it at all doesn't matter just chant om internally not loudly not from the lips in the mind got it and the last stage very happily be ready to let go of the body no attachment to this body 
I am ready to die right now. Do you remember? What are the five stages? Locks. Then second? Just establish in that silence. In the cave of the heart, take the mind. And establish there. <coughs> we will open up these sutras even more. I'm just talking sutra language. Direct translation from sutra. Third? Observe the prana moving. Observe the prana moving from the base of the spine to the top of the head. And then? Chant Om. Chant Om internally. If you are really a regular meditator, you might be able to feel that vibration, that throbbing that he spoke about, the tingling. That vibration is the resonance of Om really. Yeah. And last step, be ready to let go of this body. I am ready to die right now. First of all, are you ready to die? Big question mark I see on the face. <laughs> this moment, I am ready to let go of everything. All ragas and dveshas in that bag, gone. I am free. There's nothing I have kept with myself. I am free and now I am going. I'm going to leave this body also. I'm going to drop the attachment to this deha also. This is your biggest attachment. You feel, no, no, I'm not attached to this deha. I'm just attached to the attachments of this deha. Child, mother, father, husband, wife. It means finally you are attached here. If there was no attachment here, would there be attachment to that which is of this? There wouldn't be. You got the five steps that you have to do? You have to do this on your own, in silence. I will not be speaking. I will not be guiding you. Are you sure you got it? If somebody has not done the art of silence and doesn't know what bandhas are, what should that person do? Just take your attention to the nine gates. That's it. Yes. And slowly you will learn it. Go for art of silence. Yeah. Learn it. I do not want to teach that which I am not allowed to teach. Yes. This will be very counterintuitive to the question you asked. Are you ready to that? How long do you keep the bandhas? Yeah. <laughs> so, however long you can, hold your breath in. <laughs> that was a good answer, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this chapter is a practice of death. Again and again, he brings up these sutras. Yeah? The person who is ready to die like this, the person who is ready to die like this, the person who is ready to give up everything and move on. Only he can get liberated. Summary of the full chapter I already gave. Yes. So those who are afraid of death and don't want to go through it, run away right now. Yes. Because the next two and a half days are an experience of death. Somebody went to Lord Buddha and asked him, Can you tell me a little bit about death. So Lord Buddha asked him, why do you want to know? Oh, because I want to escape death. <laughs> so Buddha says, forget it, ask the next question. So he said, no, no, no. Why are you ignoring my first question? You tell me. He's saying the only way to know death is by going through it, is by experiencing it. You want a shortcut, you want to escape it. I cannot teach you. After you complete your process, you will immediately, without looking here and there, without looking at me, pick up your bag, start writing your dveshas that came up towards death or ragas that came up you know, at the time of death. Whatever comes to your mind, write it down. This process is for you, not for me. I am not looking at your ragas and dveshas. Yeah? It is for you to purify yourself. Slowly, slowly, you will find your own answers. We do it once and that's it or keep doing it? No. You die once, no? Once, once. But this is a practice. It's a practice, just once. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> At 
at least start. Right now it's all intellectual. Yeah, I didn't want this to be an intellectual course anymore. I want you to experience and understand what is there in the Bhagavad Gita. Clear? Yeah. yeah. So now what we are going to do? You will sit and do the process. You in fact sit up straight wherever you are. Absolutely still. First stage, what will you do? Nine locks. Locks. Yeah. All the nine gates. Second stand. Yeah. The moment you do the locks anyway, because everything is locked inside, the mind just stops. Yeah. Hold on to that silence. Hold on to that silence. I'm not going to start talking. No inner dialogue. Yeah. Just be in that silence. Even if some thought comes up, drop. Just hold on to the silence. Yeah, that's what that was. The thing is, again, we don't know at the moment of death, will you have that strength? What if you're in a hospital bed and cannot even move? Yeah? So I want you to practice without the hands. Huh? Why, why sit, up, sit upright? Why not lie down? Today, sit up in bed. I want you to lie down and do it. All different positions. Practice death. Then stand me up. Stand me Finally, you will fall. Finally, you will fall. You will fall. You will fall. You will fall. So, you do it in whatever weird positions you want tomorrow. Today, you do sitting. So that you get the first process. This is the way it's supposed to be done. Clear it? You said the proper heart in the second stage. If any one of us is having trouble with that, can you go and just hold or something you like to get up? Can you or should you not do that? You shouldn't. You should just take your... The, the sutra is take the mind into the heart. Yeah, and I'll explain also why mind, what mind does and what heart does. But later, first you just do the process the first time. It's like your first day of pranayam. How much ever I talk theory, you cannot understand what are you talking. Make me do it. First stage, second stage, third stage, right? Then you start understanding what is pranayam. Then next day I can help you understand a little more in detail. Yeah? So first day, let's just do it. Okay? So what will you do? Lock all the nine gates. Number two. So be in silence. Get established in that silence that will follow because of the locks. Because of the locks, there is the silence. Now get established in it. Next. Yeah. Now start taking, observing that energy. Yeah. And moving. Yeah. Just channelize it from every chakra up, 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 up to the top of the head. Then, for this, when it is all here, you will start feeling a vibration, throbbing, whatever here. Yeah, that time you chant an internal OM. If you are a regular meditator, just be with that vibration and see if you can observe that OM of the creation. Without. Just once or keep repeating? Just whatever, however long it takes. Maybe you see. I don't want to give you, like, you know, I don't want to restrict you. Free, whatever, you're free to do how long you want. So After that... the whole that, thing you are holding your breath, right? What you're observing? No. Your breath will finally give in, no? In that silence, only in a few moments, that breath will give, give in. Then, after the breath gives in, then you start moving the energy. No hurry, Om, chanting, nothing. Just move that energy. Just move, 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 observe, observe, observe and come to the top of the head. Observe it at the top of the head. Then just pure Om, not Hari Om. Pure Om. Here. Yeah? Yeah. And be ready. This moment I'm ready to let go. You don't have to say it to yourself. Just the Bhava. Yeah? When you feel love for somebody, how you feel it now inside? And it's so beautiful. You feel that expansion within. Just feeling that expansion within. The moment you open your mouth and give words to that bhava, what happens? 
I love you. You spoiled it. Yeah, you don't feel that expansion anymore. Have you noticed? And you've all said this to somebody. Just be with that expansion, no words. Yeah. When you feel, yes, I'm ready to let go this moment, your process is over, lie down. Got it? After death, what happens? And? And? Guruji will take you there, remember? Yeah. Kato Finishad. He said, no? Yeah. The moment you move on, because you have a master and you have reverence in that master, you will see him on the other side. Even if Guruji is in body still on planet Earth, even then, he will take you towards the light. Yes. So let him do that in the end. After you? We we'll talk about that also. <laughs> that is what this entire Bhagavad Gita is about. What happens to people at death? Those people who are spiritually inclined or moving towards the spiritual path and what happens to those people who are totally materialistic, who don't have a master? Everything is there. There are the other unfortunate ones. They find the master and leave his hand and run away. Inka to kya bolne ka abhi, baba? So, ready for the process? Ita Jadi. Yeah. There are two questions. Like, so, for the short, like longer version of short period, do we go into meditation before we hear the Guruji's voice? No, no, no. After your short Kriya, you will do this death process. Wherever you are, you do the death process and you lie down. Yeah, You are dead. And then you wait for Guruji's voice. You will hear the last part. Yeah. So in the process also, can we do locks? That's exactly what we are talking about. No? The first stage was locks. Yes. So you're doing locks twice. So you will do locks during Bastrika, is that your question? During the process, like somebody was saying, like how we can do the sitting without resurrection. So we'll do twice. I don't get your question. Twice means once in Bastrika and once towards the end. Yes. Please unmute and ask the question, guys. Whoever has to ask, you need to unmute yourself. Is that Sai? Yes. Huh. So basically, uh, what the question is, so normally when we do short Kriya, suppose we will do three stages and then three rounds of the Right? Yes. So, Correct. So after short Kriya, short Kriya, Directly start the process. Yes. Saying Yes, you just start the death process after your three rounds of breathing in, breathing out. Got it? After your three cycles, you start the death process. Then you lie down. Don't open your eyes. Don't get up. Yeah, you will like the people in the room. You will also hear Guruji, Guruji Shloka, and Guruji will wake you up. Got it? Doing it this way is very important. That I'll tell you why after the Kriya. So no opening eyes for you also. Till the end. Clear? So after Guruji says relax, stretch your legs, you know, want to lie down, you don't you lie don't down. Lie down you, keep sitting. you keep sitting. And then after he goes silent, then we start this yeah. process. Let there be absolute silence. He does mm -hmm. even take a few deep breaths in, right. deep breath out. Right. Let that completely silence out. Right. Then you start. Till that time, you can adjust your position so that I'm not going to move now. Got it? Don't start till there is pin drop silence in the room. In fact, from there also, I'm going to make it, the volume almost zero. Yeah, So that you don't even hear you. Sometimes in the background of the tape, you hear. That sound also should not be there. Why? Why? 
I have greed, jealousy, hatred. My chakras are blocked. Is that prana going to move up? So the practice of moving the prana up again and again every single day, what does it do? It cleans the channel I can up. feel good after the box every day. Yes, All because the, the channel opens up. You feel that shakti, that prana shakti moving up. Good, so you are getting it directly from Bhagavad Gita. Yes, so after you you have completed your process, you are feeling complete, it's all good, you've done your own. You are ready to abandon the body. That moment you lie down. That willingness, I am letting go of this body. Yes, exactly like this. I am ready to let go. That moment you lie down. Till the time that let go feeling is not happening, do not lie down. Be honest with yourself. Anybody, anyway, everybody's eyes are closed. Nobody is watching you. Even I don't watch. I also meditating. You got the five steps that you have to do? You have to do this on your own, in silence. I will not be speaking. I will not be guiding you. 